Hi, I'm Bailey, and this is my instructional video project for Mr. K's class on flash art. So first we start off by showing our supplies. The first thing you're going to need is watercolor paper and any kind of just regular paper. I used line for this. The second thing you're going to need is black ink and something else, and something to put it in. You're going to need a cup of water. You're going to need a fountain pen and pen nibs. You're also going to need some small paint brushes and some paper towels, a pencil, and most importantly, you're going to need a sketch and your reference. The very first step of making flash art is going to be to pour some of your black ink into any kind of container. I use a shot glass because it's just kind of what I have. Second, here I pick out um, some pen nibs. The first one I pick out is a really thin one and the next one is a thicker one. Here I put the pen nib in the pen. I did the thicker one at first, but later on I do change it to the thinner one. So here we're going to do some graphite transfer. Uh, to prep for gra graphite transfer, basically you need to mark where about where your sketch is and then just crazy fill it in with a bunch of graphite, just like you see here. Next thing you're going to need to do is put the papers together. So you're going to take the paper you put the graphite on and put it with the graphite, graphite side facing up on to the back of your sketch and then put it onto the watercolor paper. Uh, here I'm taping it down just so that when I do the graphite transfer it doesn't move around and get all messed up underneath. Then you're going to do the actual graphite transfer. Here you're going to trace your entire sketch all over again, being pretty firm so that you actually press the graphite on the back down onto the watercolor paper. Right here I decided to clean up the graphite transfer just a little bit, uh, just to make it so you can see things better and just make sure nothing got too uh, warped in the transfer. After making a sketch I'm happy with, I pull out my extra sheet of watercolor paper and I just do some practice lines just to warm up a little bit. I haven't used these supplies to make art in a while, so I just wanted to give myself a little refresher. I use the pen nib and I practice with the brush a little bit. Here is what I mentioned earlier, I switch out the pen nib because I decided I want to do the lining with the thinner one and I just do another little test line with that really quick to make sure. And then I start step 8 which is lining the entire drawing. So you need to line it with the fountain pen, you don't need to be super clean, just getting the basic shapes down on there so you know where to go when you do the shading. Uh, now that you're done with the lining, you're gonna start spit shading. So, full disclaimer, I did mess up right off the bat here. I haven't done this technique in a long time, and I forgot something. So, the mistake I made was I put that ink down first with the brush, and then when I tried to do the spit shading and do the blending out, it just was moving the ink everywhere and it wouldn't work. What you're supposed to do, and what I figure out here in a few minutes, I actually had to take a break and then mess with it just a little bit to figure out what I needed to do. Uh, I realized that you need to draw the ink on with the fountain pen first, and then you blend it out with the brush. But basically, to explain what spit shading really is, so basically you're going to put down some ink, and then you're going to dip your brush in the water, and then, it sounds kind of gross, but what you do is you stick the tip of the brush in your mouth, and you use your saliva. So the saliva reacts really interesting with the ink. It like, acts like water, but 
it's like denser almost and it allows you to blend easier without the ink just running all over the place and that's the technique i used for the entire rest of the piece After going off camera to finish the rest, this is our finished piece. Uh, it's not my favorite, it's pretty messy, there's some swatches of ink everywhere, but it's what it is, so I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>